we can't live without water. And this is the bayou that provides the fresh water, the drinking water for all of us to survive in this part of the world. It is literally the lifeblood of the south central portion of Louisiana. Yeah, Hurricane Gustav hit us approximately four years ago and it was a pretty significant hurricane. Our area endured a lot of damage. The hurricane uh, knocked down a lot of trees in the bayou and um, from what I understand, it, it, all the leaves and the trees that was laying in the bayou just took all the oxygen levels out of the water and the water was really untreatable. And we got uh, black putrid swamp water in our water intakes, in our bathtubs, in our sinks. We couldn't drink the water, we couldn't take a bath in it. It was putrid. Plus we had close to 800 trees down between Thibodeau and Donaldsonville, which affected our pumping capacity. So we had to clean it up. We had to take the trees out. We had to flush the water. And eventually we had to clean the bayou so we could pump more. So much more needs to be done though. We need to plan for our drinking water safety, salt water intrusion, recreation, economic development. We need to do the work to develop that plan for our future. The uh, state financed a $20 million dredge project that helped clear out uh, about 50 years of sedimentation in the upper reaches of uh, Bay Lafourche. We dredged approximately 5.7 miles uh, from Donaldsonville to the vicinity of Belle Rose. Uh, this section you see behind me is, uh, like I said, the headwaters. Uh, we kind of kept this one a little bit in more original, a little narrower to keep the water velocity up to help carry the sediments down to the sand trap where hopefully uh, the heavier sediments and sands will fall out and that'll be the only spot we have to do any kind of maintenance dredging in the future. We're, we're about eight miles down from the pump station in Bay Lafourche. We're in between Bell Rose and Pankerville, basically. Hadn't got to the LA-70 bridge yet in the Bayou. Uh, we're in an area that has not been cleaned out uh, recently by the freshwater district. We passed through an area that was cleaned out by the freshwater district. That's the first five or six miles of the Bayou. There's probably at least another five or six miles that looks similar to what we're sitting in right now. It's very cluttered, it's very narrow, it's very constricted. And so there needs to be another investment in that area to get it to where, where the Bayou is allowed to function as it should be, so that you can accommodate the flow both from the pump station and also from drainage. So the work is not done. There's frankly a tremendous amount of work left to be done. Uh, certainly, the area from Lockport North, where the siltation mostly is, is, is very aware of the problems. Uh, but clearly the area from Lockport South has just as much to benefit. We do not have the money base to do what needs to be done, like the dredging. Uh, the district operates on limited funds. Uh, the funds that it calls for dredging are just way beyond our reach with the internal money we have. It's going to take, uh, frankly, a little bit more resources from some other partners, perhaps the state government, perhaps the federal government, perhaps even the, the local governments chipping in a little bit more to clean out these parts of the body to get it to where it can function properly for, for its intended purpose, which is to get the water that we need to survive into our homes and into our showers and into our sinks. Those inhabitants, those people living along the bayou, enjoying water uh, from the bayou, uh, need to get behind this effort and understand that it's just as significant to someone in Leeville, Louisiana, as it is to someone in Napoleonville, Louisiana, to get a high quality of water out of Bayou Lafourche. Legislature controls the purse strings, uh, the people, you know, can put pressure or advise the legislatures on what they want. Uh, 300,000 people, that's about a tenth of Louisiana's population. It ought to be able to get some attention. It's not just that our history and our culture is based in Bayou Lafourche. It's that we had a problem. We had an emergency and the state bailed us out. It was our good fortune. Thank goodness they came along. But we can't rely on good fortune to protect this water supply for our ourselves, our children, our, our businesses, our community. We have to formulate a plan to protect this water supply and secure it for now and many years to come. We need a plan.